Okay, so Archie made a huge pot of chili, and he can't eat it all, so he's going to give one-fourth of it to his parents, one-eighth of it to his neighbor Cecilia, and another eighth of it to his neighbor Chang. We want to know how much will Archie have left over. Well, let's figure out how much he's going to give away. He's going to give away, well, one-fourth of it to his parents, plus another one-eighth of it to Cecilia, and another one-eighth of it to his neighbor, Chang. And so now we just have to add these up. So we've got fractions here, and recall we've got to get common denominators to, to, to add or subtract fractions. So I look at the denominators. I see that two of the denominators, you know, again, the numbers in the bottom of the fraction, there's an 8 and an 8, so that's good. Those are already in common. And then I have a 4 here. Well, it would be nice if the 4, instead of a 4, I also had an 8. And then I could just uh, do the arithmetic. So to do that, I think, what number could I multiply the number 4 by so that I get 8? Well, I could multiply 4 by 2 to get a denominator of 8. But if I multiply the denominator by 2, I also have to multiply the numerator by 2. So I'll have, let's see, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 eighth, plus 1 eighth. And when we have common denominators, we do the arithmetic in the numerator. So I would have 2 plus 1 plus 1. Well, 2 plus 1 plus 1, that's going to give us 4. So we've got 4 over 8. And now we can reduce this. So 4 over 8 will be the same thing as 1 half. And again, I'm getting that because I can say, well, 4 divided by 4 would be 1. 8 divided by 4 would be 2. So that means in total he's giving one half of it away. So if he's giving one half of it away, that means he would have one half of it left. So that would be the, the answer choice here, or the how we would indicate our answer. We would put a little dot over the number one half. Suppose it wasn't a nice number like one half. Well, just to go through it, to, to figure out how much he has left, the total, we can write that as 1 over 1. And again, we would subtract how much he gave away, which was 1 half. Same thing, we would have to get common denominators. We could multiply the numerator and denominator both by 2. So we would have 2 over 2 minus 1 over 2. 2 minus 1 will be 1 over 2. So again, we're getting that he has one half of the, the chili left over. So, you know, it, maybe if it wasn't such a nice number, I think this is a little more intuitive, right? If he gives half away, how much does he have left? A half. You know, suppose this was a slightly more, you know, maybe a different, a different fraction. Um, this would be how you could go about figuring out how much he had left.